I forgot to mention... Uh, Forgot to mention that Doc's going to be appearing with the Denver Symphony Orchestra at Butcher Concert Hall, I believe it is Butcher, in Denver, Colorado. Tomorrow and Saturday and on Sunday, he'll be performing with the group Zebron at the Fox Theater in Billings, Montana. So have a good, uh, have a good weekend. Now, here's, here's a very funny young man. Gary's been with us before, and he's at uh, Harris in Atlantic City, opening May the 6th, and he starts a tour with Donna Summer in Toronto, June the 13th, which uh, ends up here in Los Angeles at the Universal Amphitheater, the July 28th. Would you welcome back Gary Shandling? That's very nice. Have you seen me before, those of you? How many have seen me before? How many, how many have never seen me before? Applause. This, uh, this is a happier group, it sounds like. I, well, I'm happy to be here. I just drove in from my new house in uh, Woodland Hills. And, uh, well, thank you very much. I, <laughs> I have a new house, and I have ants in my house. I have... Have you ever looked very closely at a trail of ants? Have you ever looked? It looks like a little freeway. Have you noticed this? They're cutting each other off and they're going by each other. And if you step on one, they all slow down to look and mess up the whole line, you know? <laughs> they're going, keep it moving. There's garbage up there. Oh, that's a bad one. That's a bad one. But uh, you were talking about age. I, I'm, I turned 30 and, uh, well, I'm kind of depressed about it because uh, it was three years ago. And... Uh, <laughs> I graduated in uh, 1967 uh, from high school. A few people from 67? Do you realize kids now on their uh, senior trips go like to the Bahamas? I mean, uh, we went to Vietnam on our senior trip, you know? <laughs> they said, get in the trucks, fellas. I said, we're going somewhere. Uh, <laughs> high school is so weird. How come all shop teachers are missing one finger? Does anybody know the answer to this? <laughs> Every one of them. Are they born like that? Do they go, Mrs. Johnson, you've given birth to a shop teacher. <laughs> and there's a baby with a finger missing and keys hanging on his diaper. <laughs> Did anybody dig for China when they were kids? Our parents said if you dig all the way through the earth, you come out in China. And then they wonder why we're messed up. Am I right? <laughs> Did anybody... We had one kid on our block who was down about 10 feet digging for China. I used to sneak in late at night and throw egg rolls in the hole, you know? <laughs> He thought he was getting close. <laughs> Only a few more feet, Dad. I'm hitting something down here. <laughs> my dad, my dad just got back from a trip to China. This is true. And he said, the, the Chinese food is so much better there than it is here. He said, in particular, the number three was really... <laughs> I, <laughs> my dad is so funny. My, do you know my dad? My dad... <laughs> He, he would not mow the lawn with a hand mower. He had a tractor that you sit on. We had 12 square feet of grass. My dad thinks he's on a farm, you know? He's going, it's harvest season, son, you know? And I'm going, Dad. Then he shot the dog next door because he said he was grazing on our land, so. <laughs> And my mother, my mother is like, uh, she would come in when I was sick from school with a cold. Did your mother do this? Come in with the vaporizer? Do you remember this thing that... It, it steams up your room and you, the humidity goes up to like 200% in your room and you wake up in the morning, there's rubber tree plants growing up. <laughs> there's like parrots and Johnny Weissmuller is sitting on the end of your bed and your cold is gone and you got malaria, you know? <laughs> well, thanks, Mom. I... They live... Uh, my parents are from Tucson, Arizona. They live in Tucson, Arizona and uh, some other people from my parents. And... Uh, <laughs> They, I call them long distance, and they each get on an extension phone and talk to each other. I don't say a goddamn thing. I hung up and called back. The line was busy. And that, let's see, what, sex education in high school was just the dumbest. I mean, they showed us these films on social disease, which just scared the hell out of you. Do you remember? The, we had one girl in our class pass out because she recognized one of the guys in the film. <laughs> yeah. well, they're just actors, Betty. I, <laughs> I just broke up with my girlfriend because uh, I lied to impress her. Have you guys ever done this? And then it always comes back at you. Jeez, uh... When that space shuttle landed and I wasn't on it, I couldn't. <laughs> oh, man. And she was out there going, you sure there's no one else coming on? He said he was flying the goddamn thing. 
She thought I was weird because I make love uh, with my eyes open. Is that weird? I, I, I do it because I don't trust women. Uh, no, because a lot of times I'll be making love to them, you know, and they leave. And uh, I want to know it when that happens. I... So here I am, I'm single, I'm 33, and my looks change as I get older. Have you gone through that, particularly in the morning? You look horrible. Have you woken up yet and looked like your driver's license picture? <laughs> That's a scary thing when you go, this really isn't such a bad shot, really. <laughs> Something happens from the time you go to sleep till the time you wake up. Isn't this true? It's like God comes in and says, we're just going to mess you up for the morning now. <laughs> Have you guys ever gone to bed with a woman and you wake up and she looks like Ed Sullivan? Have you ever done that? Oh, man. And you're going, I got to get out of here, you know? And she's going, come on back here, Gary. Take a bow. Take a bow. Uh, yeah. Your folks are here tonight, I understand. My folks are up there in the audience. Well, that's very nice. Yeah. yeah. My, my, I have wonderful parents. My mother's worried that I'm still single. My mother said to me, well, well, Gary, you know... Yeah, it goes with you, the territory. You don't want to... She said, you don't want to die old and alone, you know. And I, <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to feel better when I'm dying if I can <laughs> turn to the doctor and go, she's with me. <laughs> yeah, it's just something you can handle by yourself. Right. That's nice that they're here. I don't want to go stag, actually. Doc, <laughs> kill her, would you please? <laughs> we got to take a break. We're coming back. <laughs> Good job. Good job.